50 crypto gaming projects, man. Let's rank them. Because it's pretty obvious crypto gaming is going to be the biggest winner in this cycle. If you do not agree, then... <sighs> I don't even know what to say anymore. Hello? <laughs> How are you? Everything okay? No, crypto gaming is going to be great. Crypto gaming is going to be fantastic. It's the most obvious play in crypto. It's the, one of the few plays with an actual use case. So, uh, But there are a lot of projects. And there are, like every niche in crypto, a lot of bad projects as well. So I got right here 50 crypto gaming projects, whether it's a single game or a full ecosystem, whatever, to rank. And I want to rank them by no brain cells needed. Bye! Right? You don't even need to think about it. Obviously, a great play. It's okay. Right? There could be something said more than that, but it's, it's, it's okay for now. Uh-oh, this is bad. And don't do it! That's kind of the, the tears. Like, I especially like the don't do it there! My neighbors don't do it, but I don't like it. So... I want to rank this one um, because we need to stack up on good quality altcoins right now. It's simple as that. So welcome to the FOMO Factory. Smack the like button. She likes it. Subscribe to the channel. Turn the bell notification on. And let's get right into this. Man. Some of these coins are in my own portfolio. Some of these coins are recommended by the community. I uh, asked like, hey, what should we take a look at? And we got a couple right here. And some are basically just popular coins or the high volume coins on coin market cap or coin gecko etc disclaimer what i'm going to show you right here is not official okay i'm not an official tier list maker by the guinness book of uh, world scammers records i don't know whatever i'm not that i'm a dude with an opinion and a camera it's all you need to be to do this, okay? <laughs> so there's no right or wrong. I want to give my opinion. I like that. And if you don't like me for it, whatever, guys. But let's get into it. So the first one is a pretty new one. Uh, and let me show it right away. Because this is... Here we go. Hamster Combat. Hamster Combat. Well, the first thing that I can say about this coin heavily overvalued heavily overvalued okay why do i say that for the people that be like wow i love this project how can you say something like that well if you go to a website and the first thing you see is a contract address you should know that you should stay the fuck away from it okay and i get that it's kind of part of the meme and it's so memeish to to not give you any info but just want to make you buy it but I, I want to know what the fuck you do first before I'm a buy it. Look, some people, they use their brain. <laughs> um, but this is the website. Beautiful, as you can see. The play now brings you to Telegram. All right, so it's like, I, I get that not everything has to be AAA. I don't know, man. Heavily overvalued, in my opinion. $400 million market cap, and that after a 40% decline, right? It came out, and it right away went from a cent to less than half cent. Um, yeah, that's just what happens to these kind of things. So, no, I, I, I think that this is something that you can lose a lot of money with. Um, and, hey, in a good bull market, who knows? Everything can go up. Also, disclaimer for this list, in, in the bull market, they can all moon, even the bad ones. But overall, I wouldn't be surprised to see this go well below $100 million market cap in a pretty fast uh, tempo. So I would say um, this is bad. This is just bad, okay? okay? Next one is Zentry. And for the people that are already going to be like, well, yeah, you cannot rank it without playing it. And blah, 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 blah. Look, idiot, I'm not going to play 50 games right now on this video. Do you want me to make this like a 50 hours long live stream? Of course not. It's about, it, like, I get that there are people like XRP holders, etc. cetera, that'd be like, they, they then don't care about price anymore. They already forgot about that. They'd be like, I'm here for the tech, right? Price is doing shit, so I'm doing, I'm here for the tech. Look, I can tell you that I'm not here for the tech. 
<laughs> I love good technology, definitely, but I'm here to make money off of it. Let's be fucking real, okay? So, if a game looks phenomenal and everything is beautiful, but the price chart is down anyway, then apparently it doesn't even matter that the game is looking that good. Because if that cannot even affect the price chart, then what can? That's your utility, right? So, yes, I might be bitching about some games that I later have to say like, well, yeah, the game is actually looking good. But it, it, this is crypto, okay? This is Web3 gaming, not Web2 gaming. So... If, if you want to see somebody rank Web2 games, I don't know, man. Go to Dr. Disrespect or something. I, I have no idea. Uh, but uh, no, I want to make money. Zentry, though. <clears throat> Zentry, uh, I wasn't not that familiar with Zentry, to be honest. But it looks really, really, really good for a crypto game. I want to say that because there is a big difference between Web2 and Web3 gaming still. Um, although Web3 gaming is catching up quite hard if you look at things like, well, here we go, um, or Off the Grid or whatever. Moon Tropical also looks good. But, right, you know, I don't want to drop names though. But there are projects dropping their game like, well, here, play it. And I'll be like, oh, thanks, 2010. Let me check that out. <laughs> no, I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Um, Therefore, for crypto gaming, this looks pretty good. It's not really clear to me what they really do, but that's more my lack of research, I think, to be honest. I think Zentry is, is, is it's okay at least, right? It's for me not an obvious great play because I don't know it well enough. Um, therefore, it would be a little stupid for me to, to say anything more about it. Um, but it was recommended. I don't want to ignore it. Compared to if, if I just look at what the market cap, look, they came out in a uh, moment when crypto decided not to be that fun, right? In, in, in April this year. And basically from March, it was like, ha, bye. <laughs> and if a project somewhat holds up during that period, then could be good, right? And, and, and they kind of went from 3.8 cents to 1.3 cents. Right? Nothing weird or anything. Uh, a lot of projects did way worse. So the price action is looking quite good. To economics, 130 million compared to 220 million. Not a big dilution right there. Not huge exchange listings. I mean, they have OKX and Bybit. I think they have a lot of room. But again, my apologies if I'm not placing it where it might belong. Right? But again, that's why we place it because I don't know enough about it yet. Then we have Ultra, the so called Steam of crypto. Steam is cooling off a little bit. People, they call it the Steam of crypto, like it's the place where you can uh, play the games. But we now have Portal, right? Uh, that's kind of doing what Ultra does on steroids. But we also don't seem to have the. Ne yeah, we need it. Does it seem like it's priority right now? And Ultra, to be honest, when the whole market was doing fantastic, or at least something, Ultra had this, this right here, this. And, and that's it. Price action on Ultra is less than terrible. Um, and if you look at the market cap, it, it went from 800 million to 30 million. It actually went down that hard. You can either say, oh, what a great buy it is, or you could be like, hmm, there should be a reason for that. I don't think that, old, look, again, last time I give this disclaimer, everything in this list, whether it's at the don't do it there, can go up hard in a good bull market. But let's place our odds, all right? Um, and I think that Ultra is bad. Um... I think that it's not as bad as Hamster Combat. I, I think that this had a quick hype. Um, and because of all the listings and, and, and then the, the, the narrative that Telegram Gaming has right now. But overall, I think this is not sustainable. So, um, I, I, yeah, I think that that's where it should belong. Next up, we have Perk. P-E-R-C. Persian. Per Perian. Sorry, Persian. That's a cat. Okay, Perian. Well, the first thing, it is super low cap. It's micro cap, basically. Um, so that automatically makes it a little bit dangerous. 
Um, the, the dilution is like 3x or so. It's not that bad. If you take a look at the price chart, it came out in 2022. Yeah, it was a great period to drop your project, right? And then you drop your project. From 11 cents all the way to 80, let's say, and it's now 26. So price action is kind of what the whole market is doing. No, like great exchange listings uh volume is super low um so nothing is really going on at first nothing is really going on but that could be positive like hey you could be there before the rest is however what i always don't like about these kind of projects is you go to the website right game suck wallets suck Onboarding sucks in Web3 Gaming. Let's fix it. Our mission is to make gaming better by incorporating blockchain into gaming, empowering gaming. Like, our mission is blah, 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 empowering blah, 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 all these words. And at the end of the day, you'll be like, okay, but what the fuck do you do? Right? What? Why am I here? Why do I, like, what do you do? What, like, it's so full of, like, these beautiful words and so not telling me what it actually does. Um, so I, 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 I don't know, man. Backing us to make Web3 gaming not suck. <laughs> okay, I think it's quite funny how they praise it, though. They try to be the center of all of it, I know. And let me tell you this, dude. If it works, if it works, 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 then it's big. Then this is an, I never say easy 100x, but then this is an easy 500x. However, the chance that it works is so fucking small. I don't know, man. I would not say that it sucks or that it's bad, but is it? Yeah, it's it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, but we'll place it way after Sentry. Yeah, though, that that's for sure. Then we have Pixels. Now, uh, what I like about Pixels is that 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 it, the game itself is just cool, man. It's just cool. Like, it's not like everybody's now talking about off the grid as they should, by the way. But not everything can be that fucking fantastic. And Pixel be like, Pixels, that's what we need. Like, I don't... My, the, the game that I spent most time on is Pokemon uh, Yellow, actually. Um, and and, and this exactly like these Pixel games. They are addictive. They are accessible. People love to play it. Um, to put it on your phone real quick, put it away. That's just cool, man. That's just cool. The mass adoption is hard, but it's cool. But I like uh, the fact that it's actually so simple. I don't like the fact that it was so fucking high cap and that since then, it kind of is falling, right? It went from a $700 million market cap to less than $100 million in a matter of six months. So price action, as an investor, I look at this and be like, okay, I happy I wasn't there. So why the fuck would I be there now? Right? Like I don't, I don't, I just I don't see it though. I really don't see it. But yeah, I mean they have their Binance listing. It was one of the bigger things on Binance together with Portal, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But still, and 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 six x dilution right here. I get why the why the price can uh, fall like that. So no, nah, I I think Pixel is bad, but in the upper side of it actually. I said it. Sorry, man. Games for a living. Games for a living. Um, what I like about this is that it really has a great team. It has Trip Hawkins, uh, I think founder of EA, something like that. I think I was one of the first to ever talk about this project in the first place because they uh, they had their pre-sale and, 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 and we got into the pre-sale. Made some good money off of it, but ever since then, yeah, it just goes with the market. It was 4.6 cents, went all the way down to 1 cent, and then it shot up to 2 cents, and now it's at 1.5. If you want to get in, create entry, I would think. Um, what you always, always, always want to take a look at if you invest in anything, go to CryptoRank.io, type your favorite shitcoin right here, and look at the vesting, Okay. Because here you can see what games we live in. Team currently getting their tokens vested for the coming uh, four years, right? The foundation is getting the tokens vested. The reserve, the marketing, the developers, aka team, 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 
team and the advisors of the team. So there are a lot of tokens now getting dumped on the market by the team uh, or that, that go to the team. Whether it's for the reserve of the development, whatever, it doesn't matter, it goes to the team. With games for a living, the question is really how much do you trust the team? Right? That should be the question with any project. But with games for a living, that question should be on steroids. Um, and that I cannot answer. That's hard. That's hard. It's not that I don't trust the team. It's more that I don't know. Like, are they smart enough to not sell their bags this year or beginning next year, right? Like, or are they slowly going to get out of it, sneaky? Or are they really going to develop? Can they keep up with the, 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 the competition? out? It's hard, man. It really all depends on the team in this case, in my opinion. Um, if you look at where they're listed, nothing too special, right? Nothing too special. Um, most volume, Bing X, right? Like, that's it. So they have some potential to get some good listings, but I don't know. It's not that they have, like, a hit game or anything, right? It's a gaming studio for the people that don't know, by the way. Um, and, and, and that's way safer than a single game. But there's not a single game that I have seen recently, like, wow, look at this game. And that was by Games for a Living. They just had the, we are a crypto gaming studio hype. But now it comes to the real deal. And I had seen yet. So speculative um i would say it is okay i'll put it here it is okay could be a banger and look whether they perform or not <laughs> very simple again in a bull market it fucking goes up right when everything goes up this goes up with it it's just what it is the question is if they perform really well then they go up Harder than they other otherwise were going to do. Then we have Mega Weapon. Uh, that's a, a very micro cap game being built on uh, on on. I had it here on uh, on Avex. And look, <laughs> Mega Weapon. The thing is, it has a three million dollar market cap. So it should almost be illegal for me to even mention that now. <laughs> If you look at how much liquidity they have, though, 800k. That's decent, dude, for that small market cap. Um, this is how the chart looks like. It looks like a bottoming process to me, but hey, you can never be sure. But compared to where they came from and where they are right now, looks like if you don't buy right now, then when, you know? So, looks good. Um, the game, actually... Here we go. Uh, the game actually looks good for something that has a $3 million market cap, if you know what I mean. This is how it looks like. Let me get that out. That's super annoying. Let me do the... Pew, 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 choo, choo. Ah, motherfucker, you stabbed me. Ah, 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 what the fuck, man? Again, it's not off the grid. But then again, these are the games that I like more, actually. Put my phone up. Pop, okay, bye. That's what I like. Pop, pop, pop. Not, not turning on PlayStation, wait five hours before something is installed and, uh, you know. So that's nothing too bad. They keep on building. They are not about fake, uh, fake, fake, fake interaction or anything. I respect it. I must say this could be a banger, man. It's not obviously great play. It's fucking obviously super high risk. But it could be a banger. It feels weird to put them above games for a living, though. So I'll put them below it. But I must say, I would rather buy this in games for a living because I'm a little more degen when it comes to that. Moon Tropica. Moon Tropica is not in, uh, in my portfolio yet, to be honest. Why yet? Um, I was waiting for the price to come down a little bit more, by the way. But I, I, I well, sometimes I'm a little stubborn. I look at a project and it went from, in this case, uh, 10 cents, give or take, to $50. So it already did kind of a 500x. And then when it goes down from 50 to 10, I should be like, whoa, what a great buy. No, it's still up 100x, idiot. You were way too late. 
and again, doesn't mean it cannot go up from here. But I don't know, man. Um, I have enough coins in my portfolio, actually. But this is, I think, a pretty good one. It has the right hype at the moment. It looks very good. It is a super low market cap. The inflation rate is nothing to worry about. Um, the community is, 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 is cold. So that's really good. And it's only on Uniswap, which means that we have a lot of potential to see it getting listed on, you know, CXs and then make the price go up for us. So love it. Um, I think that this is, uh, yeah, obviously a great play, uh, if I'm completely honest. All right, we'll go to it a little faster. Next up, we have Venry, 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 Venry. I don't know how to pronounce it, man, uh, to be honest, but I, I don't know how to pronounce anything, so <laughs> I don't even know how to type it. Where? Oh, it's with an A. Sorry for this. I'm not going to cut this out, by the way. I, I don't know what I'm doing today, guys. Welcome to the FOMO factory, to the fuck up factory. So this project right here. Now, what? why, why is this gaming? Well, they are building a layer and it's also uh, for, for, for gaming, but it's not like only for gaming. So it's, I don't know, early, speculative, don't know, actually builds on it. Um, not completely sure about that. If you take a look at where it's listed though, it is Binance, Bybit, uh, Buy bits, <laughs> buy bits. No, it, it, it's okay. Um, if you look at the price action of the yeah, last couple of months, came out six cents, went all the way up to 35, and now it's back at eight. Yeah, it, 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 it looks like it's almost at this five, six cents level where it uh, kind of did nothing for a long time. In that case, that's a good buy, price-wise. Utility-wise, not completely sure. Don't know enough about it. So I'm going to put it into the it's okay there. Next, we have MetaStrike. MetaStrike is a uh, quietly older game already. Well, older. Yeah, older. It's an older game. You can say whatever you want. Um, and, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, so. Okay, so I don't know what to say, man. I'm kind of speechless right here. Now, MetaStrike uh, didn't have it, 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 a great day. It came out in uh, basically uh, right at the beginning of the bear market. It was a bear market just started, and MetaStrike thought, no! <laughs> wrong time, wrong time, wrong time. Um, so that kind of sucked. They had like now two extra years to work on it to get some stuff together. Uh, market cap obviously wasn't priority. Have they gotten some good listings? They have KuCoin and yeah, and Gate, but who, who uses Gate really? Um, so they have KuCoin. It, it, it's fine. It's fine, I guess. Uh, Jesus, wait. Let me reopen that real quick. Um, yeah. It's, it's on the Binance Smart Chain, uh, so fine. It's on Windows, it's on, 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 on phone, at least for Android users. So this is how the game looks like. The thing is, though, that this looks like a very typical game from 15 years ago. And it's nothing special. And it shows in the price chart. Right, the price chart it is absolutely terrible. Um, if you look at it by market cap, yeah, then it's a big difference. Big difference, right? This price, this market cap, slightly change in 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 graphs, right? Because tokenomics unlock the token unlocks were killing the chart. Um, but it actually went from a three hundred thousand dollar market cap to a four million back to six hundred thousand right why is that at a certain point shit is so cheap that people will feel like well it's not dead so hey it should pump from here let's buy it right so could this have a great rally yeah um it could probably because the liquidity is also like it's 18k liquidity yeah this this is a joke this is it says market cap 50k what the hell is that 
I would stay far away from it, nevertheless. I would put it here. Yeah. Then, Duel from Game GPT. Uh, Game GPT. So, this project is a bit newer. It was released on, uh, I think, on, on, on a couple of launch pads like Game Starter and etc. And etc. It's a good answer if you don't know the rest of it. <laughs> I'm so lovely today. Fuck this. Um, the thing is with Game GPT, what I notice is they, they try to put GPT in the name to get the hype. But they never got the hype. What's so GPT about it? I don't get it. They are on Maxi, on Gate, on Bybit. They, they, they put some money into exchange listings, um, right? They, they probably put some money in liquidity in, in, in that case as well. Yeah, 400k liquidity, so that, that's fine. <laughs> Nevertheless, they are down way harder than any other project uh, was in this period. Most projects were down 4x. This thing went down... 12x, right? Now you want to ask yourself, why is that? Yeah, maybe they just simply don't deliver. Maybe that's it. Um, not completely sure, not completely sure. They seem to be quite active on the socials. Uh, so that's, that, that's fine. However, I, I, I don't know, man. I just do not feel the hype with GameGPT. Um, yeah, oh yeah, what is it? AI-driven game builder, powering the next 1,000 uh, 10, blockchain games. So what they want to do is they want to build an AI model which can make you help build games and Jewel is the, 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 the this token that supports it all. In theory, it sounds great. And the idea is great, definitely. But there's no onboarding. Um it might be that gem that that like we are now all ignoring and later it picks up and it does a thousand X from here. <laughs> but it's so far it's been going down pretty hard. Um and I'll put it here. Actually, I, I, I think that's a pretty good place to be. Next one is Munity, Meta Horse Unity. Um I was a KOL investor in that project. I thought that this was going to be very great <clears throat> because last cycle we had D-Race um, and I get the horse racing stuff. I do get it. So now I feel like, hey, we have Metal Horse Unity and it all looks really good and they were promising a lot and, 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 and it, it, the graphs were fine and they were all over the place. Well, not really all over the place, but they were doing the right things, especially with their NFT collections. And I don't know. I liked it, man. I liked it. But I don't know what the fuck they're doing right now. I don't know. I, I don't... They, 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 I don't know. I just, just don't know, man. They still have some hype, right? Beam still tweeting about them. So, yeah, they, they, they are still there, though. It's super micro cap. This is a really high risk, high reward play. Um, it's only on Maxi and on Gate, right? You cannot even get it on chain for some reason. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, it's a risky one. It's really a risky one. If you look at the token unlocks, because it is quite new, and I know that people like to say like, well, yeah, you should be in new coins, or not in old coins, in older coins. Well, newer coins, they have a lot of token inflation. And all their coins, they usually had that already. Treasury is being unlocked right now. Team still has to get their tokens. Marketing is still ongoing. Seed round still ongoing for a long time. The advisor is still getting it. The private round still getting it. A lot of tokens unlocks. So, I don't know. Um, could be that... High risk, high reward that plays out to the high reward side. For now, I would say it's bad. And I would put it here. Next up, Magic. Um, had some hype for a very short while. And then, then, then that was it. It was an Arbitrum. Uh, the gaming studio, an Arbitrum, basically. 
And yeah, it, it was doing quite okay, actually. That's the thing. It, I must say, it's still okay. If you look at, uh, at the market cap, right? It, every time it comes towards this 80, 90 million, it was a great buy, right? But the price, however, is a different story. Because also, tokens got dumped on the market. And therefore, these graphs look completely different, right? So, yeah, now the price went from $6 to $0.33. Cents. Don't be that noob that says, well, it can't get back there. Of course it can, but based on this, no. Look at market cap. Look, I mean, here the market cap was $170 million, right? And the price was all-time highs. It already is twice as high as here, if you get what I mean. <laughs> So I wonder what the upside is actually. But yeah, the token unlocks kind of already are done. So it's okay. Um, it has some okay listings. Yobi, Bybit, OKX. Uh, that's fine. I would say it's okay. And I would put it here. I think that's the right place for it. Next up is Elixir Games, a uh, project that came out on Cedify um, not too long ago, actually. It's on Solana. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it has the right chain. It has the right niche, right? Gaming. Gaming on Solana is uh, pretty cool, actually. I mean, it, 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 it's a good chain for gaming. It's fast, right? You don't want, like, Ethereum where you, I don't know shoot someone, then pop up, are you sure? It's gonna cost you five million dollars. Yes, okay, wait five million years, and then they hatch out. Right now, then that person is long gone. That doesn't work really, <laughs> actually. Um, Solana is great for that. If you look where it is listed, Bybit, Gabe, Maxi, Radium, Coinex, Orca, blah, 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 so that's fine. It has a 32 million dollar market cap. I don't know why my language is in Dutch all the time. It's fucking annoying, actually. Um, so it is not like super low cap. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not like high cap or anything, but it's not that low cap jam, right? 18% is unlocked at the moment. If you look at the unlocks for this project, Private sale is going to dump. Team is still going to dump. Private sale 2 is dumping. Reserves are going to dump. Marketing dumping. Staking lunch pad. Staking lunch pad rewards. Not sure. Dump. KOLs dump. Right? There is a lot of dumping going on for this project. But if you take a look at it like this, this will keep on going for like the rest of this cycle and even part of the next cycle. Right? So... With this kind of project, I would actually say like, hey, let it develop, let them work, and maybe in the next cycle, it's actually worth it since then everything is unlocked. Um, so for now, I would never buy this on the open market, actually. Um, yeah, when it comes to product, by the way, that's also something to mention. It's pretty fun. It's actually pretty cool, but I don't see them having the adoption. Like, this is actually, like, cool and what you want, right? But... I don't know, people using it, I'm not sure, it, it's not like on my timeline or anything. I don't see it anywhere. Um, so they have a lot of work to do and also with the unlock. So I would say for now, I, I, I think it's bad uh, actually. And I would put it probably here. Now, put it here. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's good. Next up, Cytus. Cytus is uh, a project that has been building for a long time. Also released by Cedify back in the day, by the way. Cedify comes up with all these gems, right? Um, now, Cytus just has a very cool ecosystem uh, for gaming. Uh, they have Ton Station, Cytus Mask, Xena. It's really cool. They have a lot, right? Um, so it's like this, the center of crypto gaming, at, at least the hub, basically. Um, this could be bigger than what it is. Um, they already have a 80 million fully diluted market cap, 40 million circulating market cap. And if you look at the uh, price over the last year and then the market cap, you can see that there is a slight difference right here, right? How come? 
tokens are hitting the market at the moment. So look out for the dilution a little bit. Um, but it has a hype. Um, they have paid Alex Becker very well to talk about it, I guess. <laughs> so, man, it, it gets the adoption a little bit. Uh, and that's good. They also created a launch pad. Uh, well, they, they, they like, by Decubate, uh, they are behind all these launch pads, basically. Is it different than, than any other launch pad out there, like Decubate or AI Tech or ChainGPT? No, not in any single way. Um, at least the UI, right? Um, but I do think that adding it on top of it was a pretty g good idea, actually. Um, but the lunch, the allocations aren't that like high or anything. I like it over Senate. Some people like Senate more, but but, but to be honest, Senate is just a governance token and you can use it for voting. Well, whoop de doo I don't see why something like that could be big, actually. But then again, let's ask Arbitrum. <laughs> um, but side side is it, it 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 it's it's pretty it's pretty cool. Um if you look where it went this cycle, I mean it went to a 150 million dollar market cap already. It's now 40. Um so it has an easy 3x to do to get back to cycle highs, let alone in a real alt season. So could this have some good returns? Yeah, probably. Um so I would say it's obviously a great play. But it's okay, and I think it should be at the top of the it's okay list, actually. I think that that's where it belongs. Then we have Bloodloop. Bloodloop also released by Seedfy. Bloodloop is a, um, a crypto game, a single game. I don't know if we can get some easy um, sneak peek. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I mean, I will turn the sound off, otherwise I'm getting demonetized. It, look, Bloodloop had the hype. Um, I see a lot of people, they talked about Bloodloop. Oh, Bloodloop is coming out. It's going to rip. And blah, 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 blah. Then I look at the actual gameplay and I feel like, okay, it's okay, right? The game is, it's okay. And everything is set with that, in my opinion. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad for a crypto game, but... We just saw what Off the Grid did, right? You can compare that to Web2 Gaming. This is not comparable to Web2 Gaming, at least not from this time, like maybe 15 years ago. And that's what kind of sucks always in crypto gaming, right? Is that it's like, it, 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 it always looks so old. It, it's running behind that much. Then again, if the game is fun and if it's addictive and people play it and they have the right marketing behind it and they find the right hype, then the token price could do very well. And they seem to do everything right when it comes to that. Um, so although the game is by far not the best looking game uh, in crypto, they do a lot of things a lot better than all these other projects that do look better. <laughs> That's important. Um, now, people always say, don't stick with dino coins, you should go with new coins. And I actually kind of disagree with that. Uh, like, yeah, of course, if you now say, like, let's invest in XRP or Cardano, like, yeah, okay. But, I mean, technology can always, like, they can always work on that, right? So all the coins can have newer technology. That's not the problem. What all the coins usually don't have is big inflation. Right? And, and that's a problem with the newer coins, actually. Right? Big inflation. Um, and it, it's not that blood loop has like big capital letters, big inflation, but it has some pretty much dumpings going on, uh, at the moment. I mean, look, ecosystem rewards, crafting incentives, ecosystem fund, sorry, hiccup team is still getting their tokens. Seed rounds still has to get their tokens, right? Basically everything that you can think of is going to dump. Only play to airdrop is 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 already had their stuff and and that's it. The rest everything is gonna dump. That's the reason why I am not buying this on the open market. Um, simply because there is way 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 too much vesting going on at the moment. Um, now 
I don't know what's right right here, right? Like, uh, yeah, no, nah, it's okay. It says 50 million. Like, yeah, it has a 4X dilution to go. With this low market cap, though, and a bull market coming, I do feel like, okay, right? Uh, it should not be that bad. And, and there's a lot of room to grow still. But I'm not... Uh, I, I've saw some people making tier lists and also putting in blood loop saying, like, easy 50X! Yeah, like everything is an easy 50x according to these idiots. Um, but let's be real. It's not impossible. It's not what I'm saying, but let's be a little realistic, right? 4x dilution to go. 60 million dollar market cap already. Game looking meh. Could it go to 600 million in a full bull? Yeah, it could. So let's put it at a 10x maybe. So it, it, it's okay uh, as well. It's not obviously a great play because the tokenomics just simply don't allow. Um, so I will put it here, actually. Then we have Shrapnel. Shrapnel is... Uh, yeah, they, 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 it, they had a lot of shit, right? They had a lot of shit. And I didn't really follow all the, all the shit that was going on. Oh, I know, people weren't happy. Team wasn't doing so great. And... Price chart basically collapsing, and what I noticed, a lot of people said like, "Wow, it's it's dying right now." Yeah, that was a good bottom signal, I think. Um, yeah, it's already up two x from there, more than two x. I do think that the Shrapnel gameplay is looking better than Bloodloop, and that's not unimportant for a crypto game, of course. Um, yeah, if you look at it like this, especially if I use the right quality, then you can see that it actually looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I like it. So when it comes to investing in the quality of a game compared to the market cap, then Shrapnel is definitely a nice one. It's built on AVAX, one of the better chains for gaming uh, as well. The token unlocks are... Uh, yeah, that's a thing, right? If you look at the vesting currently as well, um, ecosystem fund, that's where a lot of tokens go to. So that's not that bad though, but still... The team gets the tokens, the advisor gets the tokens, the seed round gets the tokens, the strategic holders get their tokens. So that's all coming from November this year. And that most of it goes on until, yeah, mid-2026. So you cannot have shrapnel in this bull market without getting dumped on. Um, then again, it's a long vesting and it's a low market cap. Still, I think shrapnel... If they solve whatever they have going on, then it's a good one. And I will put it uh, slightly above uh, Bloodloop, actually. Next up, Carrot. Carrot is, like, beautiful. My pet hooligan is looking so fine. That's what a crypto game is supposed to look like. If you ask me, this looks like thousand times better than than shrapnel or blood loop and this is the triple a you know together with off the grid um what crypto gaming can do actually this is so freaking awesome um and i think when it comes to quality of gaming that this is definitely a project that you should have your eyes on it's really beautiful this is really 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 beautiful now the thing is that carrot has it's it's somewhat ai as well by the way but it's mostly gaming the the thing is though that it has a 65 million dollar market cap for such a game that's like ridiculously low okay if you remember what axie was like in the last cycle or or a sandbox a decentraland they were literally 100 times as high and 100 times as bad right so that says something about carrot as well um the thing is, I don't really... I, I'm, I'm not much of a fan of uh, the tokenomics of Carrot. Like, this is not the perfect product uh, or project for me. Because the product is saying, like, take my money. Or at least that's me saying towards the product. But if you look at the token vesting, yeah, a lot of dumping coming up, man. Airdrops, early contributors, round two, early contributors, round one, the development, the team, the advisors, it's all coming. Um, and it's coming fast. And, 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 and therefore, I feel like, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, the, the early contributors, one and two, they get their tokens vested basically until March 2026. So they... 
if you invested in this round and then you get your tokens vested during the complete bull market, I think that these are the big winners. Yeah, and you want to ask yourself, am I going to offer myself as their exit liquidity? Um, with the chances that your bags can also pump. Now, with Carrot, I must say, the vesting is pretty wide. It's not too short, right? So it's not too much dumping at once. The market cap still is pretty low, has a lot of room to grow, and the product just looks fantastic. Can't say anything about that. Um, so although it's not perfect, I do think that this is obviously a great play. I will put it behind Moon Tropica, not because I think the game looks worse, uh, it looks way better, but at the end of the day, we invest with money, and if we yeah, look at the tokenomic side of it, then Moon Tropica is way better than that, of course. So, um, But it's a great play, it's definitely a great play. Heroes of Mafia, um, I mean, it's better to, 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 to steal something great than come up with something original that sucks, I guess, right? Um, but Moon, oh, Moon Tropica, Mafia, Heroes of Mafia, they came out, had a great run. Um, and then basically since February, it, it went straight down. And I would say like, hey, you know, everything in this period went down. But the thing is that if, if you look at altcoins, for example, when did they really top out? The max top was at March 11, right? Week of March 11, um, which was here. So I feel like then why did it already drop from $10 to $5, right? It got back up, but they had an early drop. Like, what's up? <laughs> right um 50 million dollar market cap 400 fully diluted so we have to check that but that's not looking great at first instance uh, to be really honest um yeah if you look at market cap it went from 300 million to 50 million so it actually came down six times uh, just like the 10 dollar drop to 160 so that's not because of token vesting at least so that's slightly hopeful um, it has some exchange listings, but like, yeah, I mean, KuCoin, Bitfavo, Bitfavo one of the biggest exchanges here uh, in, in the Netherlands, for example. Um, UOB, I buy Bit, but not the huge ones. No Coinbase, Binance, Kraken, uh, whatever, so there is room for that. Um, the gameplay, yeah, look, I mean, this is addictive, right? This is the kind of stuff that you want, not gonna lie. Uh, not everything has to be a triple-A shooter. You can also have something like this, and that's just easy and fun to play. Um, so I'm fully for that. But yeah, if you look at the tokenomics, again, 13% is on the market right now. And at the moment, community ecosystem is dumping. Pre-sales are dumping. Gameplay rewards is getting dumped, but that's actually good um because that's going to be done only if people play the actual game so that's fine airdrop is done though advisors still about to come um but they will get their tokens from february 2025 until november 2029 when it comes to heroes of mafia um i would say the same as uh, i would say with one of those that i said before it's maybe, Alexa, I think it's a good one to maybe wait for the vesting to be over and buy in at the lows of the next bear market. That, that, that kind of would be my strategy for this one. I'm not buying it in, in this market, um, but it's not bad. It's just vesting. Uh, nevertheless, again, it could definitely pump though, but I just want to keep vesting in mind, especially if it's 8 x vesting or so. Um, I will put it, between Shrapnel and Bloodloop, uh, yeah. Next is Big Time. Also a game that kind of came out and people felt like, whoa, Big Time um, is one of the big, better looking games, actually. If you look at the market cap, though, it's also one of the high market caps and especially the fully diluted market cap, 650 million already. So I do kind of feel like, Ah, how much upside is there? Although you also should realize that the sky is the limit in a full bull run. So, uh, yeah, I it's a hard one, though. The game, you know, World of Warcraft kind of-ish. It, it, it looks okay. It looks quite good, actually. And it's not okay. It looks quite good, especially for a crypto game. They had the right hype. They had the right momentum. They had everything right. They have good exchange listings like Coinbase, OKX, KuCoin. 
Um, so that all looks pretty fine, actually. And if you take a look at the price action, you might feel like, but why? Like it went from 80 cents all the way down to 7 cents. It like, it tanked really hard. Um, and if you then look at like the, the market cap, you see a big difference in chart, right? It means like just more tokens hitting the market. So at the moment, you see the results of what it's like uh, to get dumped on, actually. And yeah, I, I, I don't want to be there when that happens, to be really honest. Um, don't see their vesting right here, though. So I'll have to come back about uh, about that, though. But you can clearly see, like, hey, the, the, the price went down from, like, 80 cents to 13. So that's 7x down, 6, 7x down. But the market cap went down from 300 million to 150 million. That's like 2x down only, right? It's just not a good investment. Very simple. Um, and I don't care what it could do in a full bull market because in a full bull market, other projects do very well as well. Therefore, I would say big time is... It's, 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 as an investment, it's not okay. I would say it's bad, actually. And I know a lot of people are going to give me shit for it probably, but... I just don't want to be there when people are dumping so hard. Uh, that's not what I'm in crypto for. Next up, Miria. Miria, um, they did pretty well, man. It's a gaming studio. And um, yeah, there are a lot of gaming studios in crypto, of course. I think it's a much safer bet to go with a gaming studio than a single game. Um, but then again, meanwhile, there are <laughs> many gaming studios as well. Um, $66 million market cap, so quite low. Actually, 140 fully diluted. I run a Mirian note myself, so I'm not buying the tokens on the open market. If I would not have that note, would I buy these tokens? Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Um, if you look at the market cap, it went all the way to 220 million. So it still has like a 4x to go to get back to its previous all time high, actually. Um, so that's pretty good. It's on KuCoin. It's on uh, whatever the hell for exchanges. Uh, so it has some decent listings already. The thing with Maria is that for a gaming studio, I see not a lot of games that I uh, feel like, wow, this is what people are playing right now and this is what it's all about. Um, Gala had that same problem. It had the hype. But as a product, it's a studio. So... Come up with your games that people play. I don't really see that much. Um, but maybe, I mean, it's it's new, right? Uh, let's give it time. Um, it's 2023-ish. Yeah, so like it's a year old, basically. So they still have a lot of time to build. Um, and I think Miria is definitely okay, but they do have some work to do, actually. I would put Miria at the it's okay tier, and I would put them... Um, pretty high actually I think that they kind of go hand in hand with Sidus actually next up Illuvium uh, one of the better looking crypto games as well by far right like Illuvium looks fantastic um, now the game came out and it didn't do anything to the prize really but that doesn't matter it's also it was no uh, buy the rumor sell the news luckily the thing is though that for uh with illuvian also the, the the market cap is just so high right like i love illuvian and if it was 10 times as low i would have stacked up hard but with the current price i feel like is this a 20 billion dollar game I don't know, right? Like, it can't hurt to maybe hold some if you want to bet on a single game. Um, but risk-reward, I feel like, yeah, it's nothing really special when it comes to that. Um, and don't get, like, uh, confused with the the price. Again, I mean, it went all the way to 1.8K or so. Yeah, $1,800. It's now 38 And that's that psychological thing, maybe. Like, you feel like, whoa, it's cheap. Yeah, do this again with market cap, right? <laughs> Here it went to uh, the, the, the all-time high market cap was $1.2 billion. This cycle it already reached $1 billion, right? So it kind of almost got there. But if you look at the difference in price, that's 18x difference, 
right? So many tokens has dumped on the market. So it is actually not that far from the all-time high. Um, but the worst is over when it comes to uh, token unlocks, at least. So that's not really a problem anymore. I feel like Illuvium is okay. Uh, but again, I'm not saying it's okay as a game. I'm saying it's okay It's okay as a game combined with the, the financial aspect. If you combine those, then I feel like this is not bad. But it's also not a great play. Um, I think it's just a good one. And I would put it here. I think that, yeah, I think that's fair. Next up, we have Portal. Uh, controversial play. I think I was the first uh, on YouTube to cover Portal, actually. Uh, and um, we invested in Portal with Web3 Wheels, my, my own project. Um, so, yeah, we got in at four and a half cents. And even though it went to $2 and all the way down to 30 cents, it's still up 6x for us. So that's fine. But for you as an investor, is that a reason to buy it? For now, look... Um, I know the angel uh, investors, they get their tokens vested until like December, somewhat give or take 2025 or slightly longer. So when it comes to that, there are people waiting to dump the shit on you, um, including me, to be honest. I don't know like how good that is going to be for the price. In a bull market, it's vesting versus bull market. Usually bull market wins. But still, if vesting is really bad, um, then it could be that, that, that these projects don't moon as hard as you want. Um, they try to be the center of crypto gaming, where you can go to Portal, play any crypto game you want, cover it all with the Portal token, and it's one big umbrella for crypto gaming. That's the idea. Now I want to see ideas turn into, turn into products, and that's not really the case yet. So, yeah, if you look at it like this, uh, the market cap went from 400 million to 50 million. So it actually went down quite hard. Um, it has the good exchange listings, right? It has Binance, it has Bybit. That's kind of it, by the way. I would not buy it on the open market. Um, but it's only given the fact that there's a lot of vesting. Apart from that, it's a good play, but speculative. So I would say it's okay, but I would put it here. Yeah. Next, ApeCoin. Um, look, ApeCoin made people rich. Well... Yeah, yeah. Like if you had a board ape, uh, you got that ape coin airdrop, and that was a huge airdrop. And even with that airdrop, the dumping wasn't that extreme. Yeah, you can see what happened, man. I mean, uh, they're an older coin, eight dollars, and at the peak of the bull market, they had a quick wick to twenty three. And well, before you knew, well, it was in April two thousand and twenty nine, by the way, or two two. April 29 in 2022. Um, but before you knew, $23 turned into $4. Like really quick in a matter of like a week, two weeks, something. Crazy. And the drop never ended, right? It's a never ending drop, basically. It still makes lower lows, lower highs. So the project is just really going down that hard. Um, and, and, and yeah, I don't know, man. That's just not what you want to see. Uh, it, 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 I think that ApeCoin is one to avoid, um, in my opinion. And, 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 and maybe some people are an ape if you're like, eh, fuck you. But whatever, man. I mean, look at the price. That's what we're in for. If you're in for the tag, fine. But then just don't invest. As an investor, a hey, very technical Lower lows, lower highs, especially in a market where a lot of altcoins are already way up from their lows. ApeCoin makes new ones, right? They, they, they just keep on making new ones. So is it worth so far to invest in this? Fuck no. Um, so I would say uh, this is bad and this is really bad. <laughs> yeah, I think that's correct. Um, next up, we have Gala. Gala is, uh, look, 
Gala is kind of the, the, the blue chip of crypto gaming, right? A lot of people, they know about Gala. They know the word Gala. It has an easy name that helps. Um, they don't necessarily maybe know what they do. Sometimes I wonder what they do as well, by the way. The thing is with Gala, it's like that psychological coin. And if you really look at products compared to market cap, uh, then it wouldn't be this high, uh, I think. Um, if you look, it went all the way to 80 cents. People, uh, I see them sometimes saying like, yeah, it can go to $2. Like, it's two cents. Dude, can it do 100x? Really? Around a hundred billion dollar market cap? Doubt it. Um, why? Well, first, it's already high cap. Second, it's an older uh, coin that had just really the first mover advantage. Um, and the same goes for Ethereum, actually. So it, that that could also be a reason why it works. But yeah, we have so many crypto gaming studios there now, right? And I think Gala is just not uh, the one that's going to make it, actually. Um, also, team, unprofessional, they were suing each other about a Gala film note two years ago or so. Been asking about just information about it for two years and everybody in their Discord. Team seems to have the job to ignore that. Uh, very unprofessional. It looks like a quick money grab to me. Um, Gala really likes raising money. And then it's always the question like, now what? So I, I, I don't trust the team. Um, I don't like them. I think Gala is overpriced. Will it run in this market? Yeah, probably. Uh, like everybody, every, everything else. I mean, if you take a look at this, uh, here it kind of went from one and a half cents all the way to eight cents. And now it's back at 2.2. So yeah, when it comes to that, it's fine. But I, I, I don't know, man. Yeah. Look, you can make money with it, definitely. And I would say, I won't say like, oh, don't do it. But I would put it far here at the this is bad uh, category. Nakamoto Games. Um, yeah, I love the, the utility. Easy, accessible mobile gaming. That's going to be the big future anyway. Like, of course, I love uh, playing these triple A games on my PlayStation or whatever. But then again, if you look at uh, how, how easy it should be, yeah, then mobile gaming is, 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 is just like obvious. Um, the thing is, I bought Nakamoto at six cents or so, and I sold it like really, like, I really bought it here. <laughs> and I sold it. Here somewhere, probably. I did not expect that this thing would run that hard. <laughs> uh, did a 50x. Very impressive. Now it has a market cap of $74 million. Um, went from a $200 million market cap uh, to 74, or basically all the way to 43. I, um, I think there's more in the tank for Nakamoto games. I, I definitely think so. I personally don't hold it. Um, but that's for me knowing that I bought it so low and now every price that I see, I, I, I think it's high, but that's, that's not how I should play it though, but whatever. Um, I think Nakamoto is actually obviously a great play. Uh, yeah. Then we have Sandbox. Sandbox, uh, had it all, man, during the, the Metaverse hype and yeah, this was the place. This was the place. Um, if you look at the price, it went all the way to seven bucks. And now it's at 27 cents. Will it ever go come back there? Fuck no. <laughs> no, it's not going to happen. Um, if you look at market cap, six billion. It's now at 600 million. So it's down 10x, right? But the price is down 30x. How come? <sighs> Unlux unlocks on top of a bad project like i'm not saying that sandbox is a bad project by the way but i am saying like 
Nah. We can do better in 2024 and 5, right? So no, I, I would never invest in Sandbox. I don't know who still invests in Sandbox and why, uh, but I definitely wouldn't. So no, it's uh, not for me and it's already super high cap still. So I would say this is bad. I put it together with ApeCoin. Um, next up, we have Axie. Um, Axie, the project that made it all possible on the last uh, cycle, basically. For how shitty it looks, the market cap that it reached was unbelievable. Uh, it was a $10 billion market cap for, for a game that you may feel like, may feel like wow, uh, what year is it? Like, how old are we? Come on, man. It's crazy. Um, it's, it's actually just a 10x from here. Will that happen? I doubt it. I, I actually doubt it. If you look what how, how it performed uh, so far, it went from 500 million to 1.7 billion, and now it's back at 700 million. Could it do half the market cap that it had before in the previous cycle? Yeah, it could maybe. Um, but out of all the projects out there, why would you invest in this one? How, unless the price was so low right now, but it's it's still high cap, so I don't see why you would invest uh, in this. Actually, um, I will put it together with uh, Sandbox and uh, and ApeCoin. Actually, next we have Decimated. Decimated. Now I must say. If you look at big time, at shrapnel, etc., these higher cap games, basically, um, and you compare that together with the gameplay to decimated, I feel like, dude, this is underrated, right? This is really looking good, especially for the market cap that it has. If you look at this game, this looks like a nice game. It looks fun. It looks polished. The movements are smooth. It's all good. And then if you take a look at the market cap of Decimated, you can see that it's at a market cap of $4 million, right? Then I feel like, hey, this is something, right? Um, apparently, don't, they don't have like, I don't know, like Shrapnel, Blood Loop, whatever. They had marketing Decimated cannot compete with. But at the end of the day, product is the best marketing, in my opinion. And this has good product, dude. Uh, I love Decimated, especially, again, compared to the market cap. You can find it on uh, UOB, on, on Gate, Radium, of course. Um, and even the fully diluted is low cap. So, yeah, I don't know, man. It, it, this, look, I mean, this is really an older game. The coin is already out since 2019. But it also makes sure that, again, the, 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 the vesting is completely done basically right the, the big dumpings are done and yeah as you can see it went from a two million dollar market cap to what was it a, a a 35 almost pretty easily and now it's back at 4.7 yeah th this is obviously a great play and i will put it here um actually because look again it's not that i think that this game looks better than than my pet hooligan but if you compare the tokenomics together with it and the buying opportunity, uh, as we are investors, then I think this is better, uh, actually. Next, uh, newer one is Metalcore. Metalcore was uh, released three months ago, something like that. The coin, at least. And it, it kind of was a surprise to me because it was in Neo Tokyo. And I thought that this was going to be one of the big bangers. And it's at a two and a half million dollar market cap. It is insanely low, uh, insanely low. Especially if you look at uh, the gameplay. Let me pop up some gameplay right here, if possible. Yeah. Look, I mean, this is how the game looks like. Yeah. Again, for something with a two point something million dollar market cap, very comparable actually to Decimated. Looks really fucking good really good actually like yeah um because this is also the type of game that i feel like well i would play this right N even if it's completely unrelated to crypto 
that's what we need. That's what we need. So then you're, of course, going to rely on the team. How good are they going to do the marketing? What are they going to do with it? How are they going to upgrade, upgrade the game, etc., etc., etc. And they have a new, better... Is this the same? I don't know. I don't know, man. I just love how this looks. Um, but, yeah, vesting. I don't know if it's here. It is here. Um, community is going to dump. And ecosystem is dumping as well. Team gets their tokens together with a private sale. And at the end of 2024. Till the end of 2026. So, yeah. And together with the advisors. So, a lot of dumping coming. Um, that's too bad. Nevertheless, even with this fully diluted market cap, I would feel like, yeah, worth it. Definitely. Um, so, Metalcore, I will put it slightly below uh, decimated because of the vesting. But it's still a good one. Then we have Illumia. Illumia Crown, Legends of Illumia. However, they want to call themselves um, on Solana micro cap I hold it uh, as a moonshot right not as a high conviction top five play or anything uh, like that but if you check out how this actually looks I feel like dude this looks like a fun fucking game to play um, I haven't played it but this looks really 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 fun and I, I I don't know why it is then so low cap, uh, to be honest, because it's just a good looking game. Um, market cap went all the way to, well, all the way to 15 million. It's now at two. So yeah, if anything, I would say this is a great buy. Um, I actually, I, I bought a lot because every single time I thought it was a great buy. This is one that where I catch myself catching a falling knife all the time. Um, <laughs> I don't really care with this one as well. This just looks good and I just want to have allocation uh, to this one. So I would say, yeah, absolutely a great play, the best play so far of the list. Um, Crown by third times. Crown um, on Solana. A slightly higher cap as well, 191 million at the moment. Fully diluted, 111. Uh, so that's quite close to each other. So I'm definitely not mad at that. Um, price went from four cents all the way to what was it? One, one, one eighty. Now it's back at forty cents. Yeah, like these racing games i think that this horse racing right i think that this is actually um it's not going away i i think that website looks scammy as fuck by the way who shows this right like on the website a couple of bold guys sitting in their office talking about <laughs> so how are we gonna do this guys like <laughs> why do you do that nevertheless um it has the right hype, it has a good product, it has uh, no good listings so far. Um, back to the old all-time high is a f yeah, 4x from this point. I think Crown is obviously a great play, but I will put it uh, at the lower side of the list. Then, Game Starter. Game Starter is a launchpad, a very low cap launchpad. Um, and <laughs> that's the thing. Um, in, in my opinion, this is an obvious play, but that's look, it's it's it's, it's dangerous as well. Launchpads are gonna be fucking huge, like if you. Have, if you want to just make an easy 5 to 10x, just build a launchpad only portfolio. You will do fine. Um, gaming as well. We're watching a gaming video. Well, I'm recording it. You're watching it. I'm watching it during the edit. I'm probably editing it, this out. If not, then I'm a dickhead. Uh, but the combination is, is just great. And it's in the name. 
it's super micro cap, so it doesn't need a lot to uh, to actually pump. But it's just an extremely high risk bet, right? Because it's it has a hundred k liquidity. What the f like? It's it's nothing, right? A couple of wills can destroy this. So that's kind of dangerous. Um, it's an eight x back to its all time high. Yeah, I don't know. If you are willing to take the risk, then it is obviously a great play. If not, then it's bad. <laughs> so it's either this or this. For me, I'm willing to take that risk. And I will put it uh, here. Next, I'm, I need some water. All right. Next is Shockwaves Neuros. Um, a project released by c It's about gaming and AI. They have a pretty cool uh, Telegram uh, mini game. They have more of that coming up. Um, they have a small but really dedicated community. The project is, ext I think it's the most micro cap project in this list. Um, so yeah, it, it's a little when it comes to that high risk, but the reward, dude, like, um, I don't know, man. I, I love it. I'm going to show you. It has a, a, a market cap of under a million, I think. Uh, 600,000, right? Fully diluted is even micro uh, cap. Um, I don't know. This is for me like my ultimate moonshot. Uh, it has a um, steady 8x to do to get back to its previous all-time high. Um, I don't know, man. I, I, I just like what they built, to be honest. And it's not the... Like, look, I mean, if you look at the game, this is how the game looks like. Let me find something that's a little clearer, actually. Look, this is the game, right? And you might say, like, well, you know, this also doesn't look that innovative. Right? It's not an off the grid. That's true. But again, if you combine this with the small ass market cap that they have, I feel like this is undervalued, actually. Um, so, I don't know, man. I, I love this one. I actually love this one. And I will put this at a obvious play. Um, I'll put it here. Yeah. Then we have Domi Online. Domi Online is also a, a kind of runescape kind of game built on uh, AVAX as well, right? Yeah, AVAX. $5 million market cap pumped like hell um, in, in the last run. It went from a third of a cent to seven cents. And so we did like what? A, 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 I don't know, man. <laughs> a lot of access. Um, it's also because I think Becker had a good bunch of these po tokens and he talked about it and he knew, right? Like, I can pump this. And the market cap wasn't even tracked, but it was like 20 million. I think it was like a couple million. Um, so I think he used that opportunity to uh, do some good dumpings uh, here and there. Nevertheless, it's back at these lows again. And... The project isn't changed, right? It hasn't changed. I don't know, man. I feel like this is the kind of project that might completely explode in the next bull market. And in my opinion, it's obviously a great play. And I will put it here. Now, you might notice that I'm putting these lower caps in the obviously a great play uh, section. And that's one because we now entered the part of coins that I hold in my portfolio, but two as well, like I'm assuming that you as a viewer feel like, okay, I want to take some risk. We're in crypto, right? Um, and I want to take some risk. So like, for example, I have Illumia, I have Neuros, I have Domi Online. These are the, I have to scroll down in my portfolio to find them, but I do have them, right? Um, because I just think for what they do, they are undervalued. And, and again, this is not to pump my bags. I have two or 3,000 views. I'm not uh, Alex Peck or anything. I cannot do that, okay? That's not possible. So don't even come with that. Um, next up, Engine Starter. Engine Starter is a crypto launchpad as well. Why did I put it in crypto gaming? Because they release a lot of gaming projects as well. Um, if you look at it like this, you could say like, completely dead. Yeah. It's not going back to the 
all-time high price ever even close. Uh, of course not. Why? Token unlocks, again, if you look at market cap, yeah, you can't even find it, but it was like, th th there are so many more tokens uh, on the market right now. What I really, 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 really dislike about Engine Starter is their low liquidity. Um, I wanted to buy a lot, but I can't. The price impact is too high. And compared to the market cap that they have, I feel like, yeah, that's too bad. Uh, that's not allowing new buyers to get into your project, actually. Um, so it's when it comes to that, it's a whales game. Um, if there are already whales in, yeah, then, then, then it takes a couple of retails to, to pump the price and then one wheel can completely crash it again. Therefore, I feel like they should do something about the liquidity. Uh, because that's completely shit. But if you're looking to buy for a couple of hundred, maybe thousand dollars, whatever, should be no problem. Um, at the end of the day, it's about uh, the projects that they release. Yeah, look, I mean, it's not bad. The UI sucks uh, pretty hard, though. Uh, I don't have a good overview of what I invested in and whatnot. I requested that uh, a couple of years ago. They said that we're working on it. Apparently, they weren't. Or it's super hard for them to do, but I cannot imagine. Um, so on many fronts, it's by far not the best launch pad out there. But therefore, it's like on many fronts, uh, well, on one front, the price. Therefore, it's also one of the lowest. Um, so if you are looking for a high-risk, high-reward launch pad, I would say uh, Engine Starter could be there. I think it's okay. I would put it... Uh, Wake me, wake me games. Um, Scott Herman, fucking ass. Um, once had a call with him, but my kid was screaming and I could not uh, do the call. And uh, since then, I never heard from him again. <laughs> so he was probably like, This dude is pretty unprofessional. I'll never talk to him again. I have a kid, man. Call me. <laughs> nah, it's. Um, Unrelated info. Um, I love Wack Me, dude. Honestly, I love it. What they're doing with the tower defense game, with the mobile gaming, I think it's great. I really think it's great. Price is a little weird. Every time it gets that high, it gets sold off right away. Uh, I don't know what was going on. Maybe some wheels were in. I, I don't know. Um, but I think that Wack Me is a good play, definitely. Uh, it could go places. If you look where they listed, like no big exchanges or anything, right? So they have a lot of potential to do that as well. Um, and yeah, you can just see when the market conditions allow, this thing just goes, right? It, it, here as well, like it went from low to not so low. I cannot name all the zeros. <laughs> I think that Wack Me is a great play. Actually, and if we take a look at this, as I am bitching about everything, look, engine started. This is how you add liquidity: one point five million dollars. Really great. Fuck off. So, whack me. Um, obviously, a great play, and I would put it here. Then we have Folk Forged PYR. I was bullish about the project. They have their studio, they have their layer one, they have their lunch pad now, they have this, they have that, they have everything. Except for a positive price. And I don't know why, but eventually that made me say like, okay, you know what, whatever. I, I, I capitulated. Um, I'm, I wasn't in a loss, but I, I feel like, nah, I don't want to hold this anymore. I don't want to hold this anymore. Because... It's just not doing anything. This is really XRP-ish. And look, that's just not good. So it might be people that say like, ah, oh, you, you, you suck, you stupid. One day it will, maybe, maybe, but I don't care. Right? Because if, look, the whole market is pumping. Folkforge isn't doing anything, right? By the time Folkforge finally pumps, it's probably because of the rest of the market pumps as well. So... My money is just as fine, if not better, somewhere else. Um, so I capitulated. I'm not buying it. 
until I see some positive price action, right? Um, it's just too boring for me. Other than that, product fucking great. So I would say it's okay. Uh, I would put it here. Playable Games. Playable Games is a gaming studio on AVAX. AVAX is going to be big. That's a given. Uh, gaming studios on AVAX is going to be big. This is low cap. Everything is in circulation. Yeah, this is... This, High risk, but then again, also, it's obvious, obvious to me. Um, I'm a holder, and I... <sighs> Look, the price is not that great. We can see that. But what you can also see is that it was here also not that great. Like 0 0.0005, and it went all the way. Like, it did a 20x. A 20x, right? Like, that was pretty crazy, dude. Um, if you look at uh, where the market cap went, 66 million from, oh yeah, the market cap was 3 million or so, right? So it looks like the floor has been found uh, at around 10 million. If you can still get it for 20, that's fine, I think. Um, this could definitely go places. Uh, I love it, man. Um, the thing is though, also... I don't see any hit games or, or, or anything close to it. But then again, for the market cap that they do have, I feel like, yeah, what should we expect? If there was a hit game, then it wouldn't have this market cap as well. So it's, in my opinion, obviously a great play. Um, and I would put this before whack me. Then while the world... While the world is hands down one of the better crypto games uh, out there. The graphics are insane. Uh, it's, I think, a very big open world. Um, it's so smooth. And, and this is not a gameplay uh, video with some action, really. But the action looks quite fine as well. I really, really, really think that this is one of the better looking crypto games there is. Um, and yeah, if you take a look at the market cap, it was pretty high-ish. Came down quite nicely, luckily. Um, if you look here, it was sitting at a um, $300 million market cap. And it's now 63, right? So yeah, insane. Um, the market cap in the last cycle, because it's an older coin, 530 million. So I think it could beat that one. I think it could go higher than that. And I think at this price right now, Wild World is heavily undervalued. Heavily. Um, so Wild World, it's like the best. The best. Just simply the best. Simply the best. Yeah. It's great. I um, <laughs> love it. Next up, we have Star Atlas. Um, now, therefore, I want to take a look at the Polis token. Uh, that's the token that, like, <laughs> it's all about this one. Like, I don't know. That was gay. Well, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> uh, Star Atlas is on Solana. Great chain for gaming, of course. $43 million market cap. Now, just remind yourself... Uh, Star Polis, huh? Star Atlas gameplay. Just remind yourself, $43 million market cap. And then we get a game that looks like, uh, give me some gameplay, this. And there's way more than only in the spaceship, right? You can actually walk, ride a motorcycle, and maybe buy a horse or something like that. This is how Star Atlas looks. It's a big game. Um, this looks like a really fun game, actually, as well. W graphics on point uh, also and yeah it's the same together with Wild World a beautiful looking game with a low market cap uh, this is almost a no brainer just like Wild World so I would put it slightly below Wild World maybe together with it uh, but yeah, 100% great play. Almost there, guys. If you want to like the video, a lot of effort is into uh, this one. So that would help me a lot. would really appreciate that. Now, next up is Spartadex. Spartadex is a new 
project. It's a crypto gaming launchpad. Um, well, not only gaming, but yeah, no, it's a launchpad. Um, it's a gamified DAX that were uh, on Arbitrum first and now on Linear. I think that the step from Arbitrum to Linear was a big mistake. Um, not going to lie, because Arbitrum is way more accessible. Linear doesn't have that adoption. Um, so Spartadex basically kind of said to its potential investors, like, here, we make it extra hard for you. And that, that's, I, ah, that's, I don't know, man. It's too bad. Arbitrum was fine. <laughs> but go to base or I, I don't know. Apart from that, uh, they have very good economics right now as they just burned $6 million worth of their own tokens to make everything 100% fully diluted. Um, so that shows like, whoa, this team wants to go for it, man. Uh, absolutely fantastic. They have good lunches as well. Definitely good lunches so far. Um, and this is a sleeping giant in my opinion. They really have to do something about the chain that they're on, in my opinion. If that's done, I can with a lot of confidence say that this is going to be a big winner in this bull market. For now, let's see what they do with the chain. Um, but for me, it's a no-brainer. Uh, well, it's not a no, it's close to it. It's a great play. I will put it here. Yeah. Then we have El Tora. El Tora... Um, Look, if you are in crypto gaming and you understand crypto gaming, then you should understand NFTs, okay? At least understand that NFTs are going to be fucking big. Like, not the type of NFTs that we had in 2021, but just, like, I don't know, man, in-game items, that kind of shit. Um, and El Toro is kind of the center of it. And currently... Market cap, 22 million, man. If you look where it came from, it came from uh, 300 million almost. And even in this market, it went already to 66. Um, so that's a 3x from this point. Yeah, this will be 100 million plus easy. Um, so for me, Altara is uh, obviously a great play as well. And I will put it actually uh, here because it has a lot of upside but it's safer than most of these things that come here. Um, then we have Prime, Echelon Prime. Prime is slightly newer, um, $8.20. It went all the way to 30, give or take. Market cap went to, mm, let's say a billion. It's now 400 million. So yeah, there are some token unlocks uh, happening with uh, with Prime. So therefore, I would be a little careful, but it's not that extreme actually. Uh, they have good games. They have a whole like ecosystem basically. Uh, parallel the trading card game uh, looks fantastic. I think that Prime is a good project. I love it. Um, the only thing, it's already a little high cap. And again, yeah, it is obviously a great play, um, but it is already quite high cap. Therefore, I would put it here, I think, somewhere. I, I, I know a lot of people would say, well, it's safer, so it should come first. But it's also, if we want to play it really only about safety, then we should not be in crypto, right? Um IMX the uh, layer two on Ethereum for crypto gaming, and th they do it, man. I mean, this is one of the fewer projects that made already new all time highs in this uh, in this cycle. It went to five billion, for fuck's sake, right? Like crazy. Um, so although there are a lot of people a bit negative lately, like yeah, but it, it, IMX itself sucks, and games don't like being there, etc. Yet the price seems fine right like so as an investor hey, i care um this is not your 20x play but i think that could it go to 10 billion or so yeah probably um so therefore this would be the first one actually that i would put no brain cell needed just buy right because this is the type of project that imx won't go away right 
IMAX will be used. And you can already see how the price reacts to that. It's one of, like I said, the first here that, that made new all-time highs already. Um, so therefore, like, yeah, no, it's not a 100x coin, but it's definitely one for very steady growth. And if you just want to kind of almost guaranteed make money in crypto, then you don't need any brain cells. Just have some IMX. Superverse, I don't know what the fuck is going on over there, by the way, but this thing has been ripping. It's like crazy. 124, it went to 130 something. Um, yeah. I don't know, man. 500 million, 1.2 billion fully diluted. People can say about Elio Trades uh, what they want, but he knows how to run a project. <laughs> so that's great, man. Um, yeah, this thing is ripping. Um, and it's not weird because if this is indeed going to be the center coin of all crypto gaming, then this deserves to be $20, right? If you have any vision on how big, like it's speculative, right? One, crypto gaming indeed has to become as big as we all think. That's probably going to happen. Two, during that, Superverse has to indeed be the center of all crypto gaming. If these two things combine, then Superverse, then, 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 then th this is nothing yet. Nevertheless, that's still speculative. Um, but yeah, I mean... This is one that you do not need any brain cells with. And I'll put it at the forefront of it, actually. Um, now, again, these are my holdings, right? So, of course, I'm putting them higher. Otherwise, I would not hold them. Um, next up is Beam. Beam is uh, one of the most successful layer ones, if not the, that comes out of uh, came out of AVAX. Um... I think that Beam with an $800 million market cap has a lot of room to grow, has a lot of room to grow. I mean, it's just as big as Gala when it comes to that, but this is a complete layer. Gala is a studio. It's a two completely different things, right? Um, but I think that Beam has a lot of room to grow. And for me, this is a no-brainer as well. And I put it... Uh, I would go with Super Beam IMAX. Then Ronin... Ronin as well. Big no-brainer. Big no-brainer. Why? It's a layer one for crypto gaming, and they are somewhat the exclusive layer one, right? You cannot just build on Ronin. Um, and they have hit games, really hit games. They also have some games that you feel like, hey, does it exist? But the hit games are on Ronin. Well, now also AVAX with off the grid, though, but... Uh, with a $500 million market cap, look, it's far from the lows, right? It, it, it went from, what was it? 40, no, 30 million to 1.3 billion, right? So don't get it wrong. Ronin already had its run, right? In this bull market. The big life-changing run has been done. But from here, I can see Ronin going to... 20 bucks, actually. <laughs> maybe that's like... That's maybe not even that unrealistic. Um, for me, it's a big no-brainer. And I would put it here. Yeah. I, mm, somewhat together with Superverse. AVAX, again, it's not really gaming, but kind of is. Um, but the fact that Off the Grid is coming there or is there... That's already for me enough to say that AVAX is gaming. Um, thing is, AVAX rank 13, right? it, 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 it needs a lot of money to, 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 to uh, grow in price with a $12 billion market cap. Then again, a lot of money is coming there. <laughs> so it's also happening. Um, AVAX at 30 bu bucks. Look, if you compare market cap, then it's not that far away from the previous high, right? That was 30 billion. Now it's 11. AVAX here, though, is way better than it was over here. So, but yeah, now Solana, et cetera, is taking that market share as well. But I think AVAX could go back there, definitely. Um, so 
I would say that, look, don't expect magical, uh, life-changing gains from it. But if you want to have one of the most obvious plays for a safe altcoin, AVAX is number one, right? So I also have to pl place it here, number one. Ronin, better rewards maybe, super, etc. But AVAX, safe exposure uh, to one of the best. Yeah. And the last, CDFI. Crypto gaming launchpad. Um, not only gaming, of course. They do so much, man. They had their SNFTS. They have their Seed World uh, token coming up right now. I'm an ambassador for them. Um, it looks absolutely fantastic. The S1 token powers the whole Launchpad ecosystem. Currently at a under a hundred million dollar market cap, I think. Uh, it's at eighty eight million. Cedify is my biggest holding um, because I think it has a good risk reward ratio actually, and I would say. Cedify also, no brain cells needed. And I would put it, I would put it quite high actually. I'll put it here. So there's not a single project here that I would scream like, don't do it. Um, but there are some that I feel like, okay, it's just bad shit. Uh, I would not do it, but not a screaming uh, getaway uh, or anything. Let me know what you think. You, of course, again, these kind of things, people are going to disagree. You cannot place 50 different projects and all agree on that, but I think this is pretty fair. Um, so let's do another one with another niche very soon, maybe the best lunch pads or anything like that. For now... Tired as hell. This was a long video, but I hope it was helpful. I'll try to place uh, the timestamps for you to make it easy. See you guys in the next one. Please, by the way, give it one like. One. You cannot give it to anyway.